Hi everyone, in today's video I will be comparing some of the nail art stampers available on the market. There are so many different shapes, sizes and types of stampers available now. Which one should you get? If you already own one, is it easy to use and comparable to other stampers out there? Well, keep watching and hopefully you will have some of your questions answered. I have a range of stampers available on my website which I will be using to do the comparisons for you. So go check them out if you're interested in getting some. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to get notified of my new videos. I will be holding a giveaway for some of the stampers in this video, so stay tuned to find out more. And here comes the stamper lineup. First up is the Conat Stamper. This one I have had for the longest time. It's double sided so you get a larger red stamper as well as a smaller green stamper. You can also get them in the single red stamper but I'll just talk about the double today because they use the same material and it's the same size so the result will be the same. The small green stamper is good for stamping smaller designs and the larger stamper is good for stamping full image designs. Both the red and green stamper is quite firm. The Karnat stamp set comes with a metal scraper. Next I have the XL stamper. This also comes in the double sided version and a single rectangle version. The white stamper on both is the same material, so again I'll be just comparing the double stamper in this video. The white stamper is softer but the size of the stamper is larger compared to the Conat stamper, so you can pick up larger areas of the designs. Good for people with longer or wider nail beds. The smaller red stamper is a different material and it is quite firm. It's even harder than the Conat stampers. I also have a couple of these metal handled stampers. It comes in gold and silver. The metal handle is quite heavy so it makes it feel more expensive. The stamper is even more soft than the XL stampers. Quite squishy and stickier. Finally, I have a couple of the clear stampers. A rectangle one and a larger round one. The material and firmness of the stamper is the same for both. The good thing about clear stampers is that you can see where you are stamping which is quite handy. Also the round stamper comes with a cap to keep it clean. The stamper has around the same firmness as the XL stampers but slightly more sticky. Since the material is clear it's not as durable. You can see on the side here it already has a little mark, so be careful when using the clear stampers to prevent damage. Okay, now that we have seen all the contenders, let's see how they stamp. We're gonna test them on different sized designs as well as image plates to see how they perform. First I tried it using the Karnat Square image plate to test some full image designs. Starting with the Karnat stamper, as always it gave me good results. The images are complete and the lines are clean. Next up is the XL stamper. It also came out quite well. As for the other smaller red stamper, it came out smudged, possibly because the stamper is quite hard and shifted while picking up the design. The metal stamper produced a very thin line, not very defined like the other stampers. Also, since the stamper is quite soft and squishy, it magnifies some parts of the design. Here you can see that the smaller teddy bear seems bigger than the one stamped with the Karnat stamper. Finally, we have the clear stamper. This one came out quite good. Next, I tried it on a bulkier design from the JQL Image Play series. Again, the Karnat came out super clean. The XL white stamper had minor areas that are missing. The XL Red Stamper, however, did well this time with a clean print. The metal stamper gave a slightly roughed up edge and some missing parts on the leaf. And finally, with the clear stamper, it also had some minor sections that didn't pick up within the leaves. Here is a side-by-side -side of all the nails for comparison. Out of this set, the Karnat came out the best for both. The XL Y Stamper and Clear Stamper actually made the stamping polish seem darker and sharper compared to the lines produced with the Kona Stamper. The XL Red Stamper did pretty good this second try with the leaves and the rest all had little holes in the design which didn't pick up fully. Next I tried a smaller design to test out the multicolor stamping technique. After transferring the design onto the stampers, here is what they look like. As expected, the Karnat stampers transferred perfectly. 
The design is solid and clean. The rest though had little bits left out within the lines here and there. Next, I colored them in with a white polish to the empty areas within the design and waited for them to dry for about 5 to 10 minutes. First up is the Coconut Stamper. I tried really hard to separate the design from the stamper, but it was not a success. Some came off, but it ended up all broken up. Next, I tried it with the XL White Stamper, and it was a little bit easier to transfer than the Coconut, but there was still a little bit that didn't come off. The metal stamper, however, came off really easy. All I had to do was press it a couple times and it came straight off. The clear stamper also did very well. I could see exactly where I was stamping. I rocked it in a circular motion to separate the design from the stamper and it came straight off. Since the first two stampers didn't do so well, I decided to give them a second chance. The Karnat still didn't transfer, but the XL Y stamper came through after a bit of circular wiggling. Finally, I wanted to include one more test, and that is with a very shallow image plate. I think a few people have experienced this with their stamping, so I wanted to address this issue. I found this damaged image plate which had a very shallow design. I didn't notice it from looking, but after trying to stamp with it, not all of my stampers worked. As you can see, the XLY stamper couldn't pick this design up, and the clear stamper only picked up a little bit, but broken. When I tried it with the XL Red stamper, it worked like a charm. Also, the Karnat stamper did really well too. Didn't seem to affect it either way. I believe this is due to the firmness of the stamper. Both the XL Red and Karnat stamper are made from a harder material, so it is able to push into the grooves but the softer stampers probably went over the design instead. So next time if you're having trouble stamping with a nude image plate, try a firmer stamper. Alright now, let's have a look at the findings. For the Karnat stamper, the pros are that it picks up the most complete image, lines are clean and defined, can pick up images with super fine lines as well as from image plates that are cut very shallow. Cons, it is not see-through and cannot stamp images that dried up on the stamper for the multi-color designs. The pros for the XL stamper is that it has a bigger surface area to pick up the larger designs. The lines are more opaque and sharper than the Karnat stampers. Can stamp multi-color designs straight from the stamper. And the cons are that it's not see-through, doesn't work well with image plates that has shallow cuts. However, the red stamper on the other side can pick up shallow designs to compensate. With the metal stamper, the pros are that it looks nice. Because of the softer material, it works flawlessly for multicolored stamping designs straight from the stamper. Just give it a wiggle and watch it peel off. Con, having this softer stamper can distort the image when stamping. Only picks up majority of the image with missing parts throughout the design. The stamped outlines doesn't look solid, doesn't work on shallow plates and super thin lines. Finally, the clear stamper. The pros, it's see-through so you can see exactly where you're stamping for optimal accuracy. It works great for transferring multicolor designs and the lines are sharp. It has a larger surface area which is great for longer nails and the cons are that the material is not very durable and it doesn't work on shallow plates. So to conclude, the Kona stamper has the best quality, the XL stamper is more versatile, the metal stamper is the prettiest and the clear stamper is the most innovative. Which stamper is your favorite? I will be giving away two new stampers to one lucky subscriber. So if you want to win some new stampers to enter the giveaway, you must be a subscriber to my channel. Like this video and list your top two stampers in the comments below, as well as the country you live in and I will pick someone to win them in my next mail video. Full giveaway entry conditions will be listed in the info box below. Good luck everyone! If I get enough responses for this video, I will be doing more giveaways in the future. Please enter and support my content. Thanks for watching!